Hello everyone, welcome back to this chap whose name, Simon Thorazen Holt, is surviving for now 10 days of spring, which is 14 days to 24 days. We've survived 24 days of this cataclysmic event and we are still going strong. We do have a few things to do. I left um, the end of the last episode, we were about to go to sleep. We did go to sleep and now it's 2 o'clock in the morning. It's half past 2 in the morning because I've done a little bit of stuff off camera, majoritatively, or in the majority, by and large. <laughs> it has been uh, just picking up all this stuff and putting it hither and thither, mostly because I had a look over what I was doing last time and I went, hey, I never seem to know where my stuff is half the time. So I've gone around, picked up things. I didn't even notice this part. Um, and I just tried to figure out where I want things to exist. Now, this seems like a perfectly good place to put things like scrap metal, chunks of steel, etc. We, we should probably build some furniture, which would be a good way of getting up the uh, fabrication skill. Although it's nearly at four. Uh, so it's... <sighs> the thing is, we, ha we do have a lot of two by fours, as it turns out. So that's not so bad. So we can probably build a little bit of furniture, which I just thought of now, basically. <laughs> build road barricade. A bunch of nails. Fine. Um, we could also build a cupboard. Uh, word which I recently realised has been very much disrespected over the years because obviously now we no longer just put cups in our cupboard but we keep putting other things in it uh, and I think the cupboard has suffered a, a bit of a bad rap over the years apparently I don't have a tool with hammering anymore that will be left in the other shopping trolley which we need to go and get somehow but again we discussed in the end uh, just in general in the last episode that we don't want to go all the way up here uh, and deal with the brute if you can avoid it and I don't want to go up there during the night for obvious reasons i.e. it is dark so if we go up there in the night and it's dark and the brute is there even if we have our car that's bad news bears we don't want to be facing off all it's going to do is break our car you know it already broke us <laughs> it's going to break our car we want to be able to go there and make sure the place is clear before we try and uh, try and recover that stuff which means we can't build anything so, I suppose one thing, therefore, it is probably an okay idea to do is go for a drive and try and find some more food. We have got plenty of water, uh, but we do need to try and find something else just to keep us going. And now that we can drive, I think it might not be the worstest of ideas of just trying to drive around a little bit. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's first of all close the boot, and then we'll get in the car. Uh in the left hand side of the car because everything's backwards in this strange place uh, and we will um why don't you have any headlights uh let's let's stop driving where's my there we go stop driving examine the vehicle examine the vehicle It says the headlights are broken, but you wouldn't expect this to mean that you can't use them. Although there is only one headlight anyway. Okay, let's have a think about this. Because what we could do is... Do we have any tools? What this might be a good time to do is to practice our mechanics. And try and... Oh, that's not a door. <laughs> try and... Uh, try and... Uh, try and... Because uh. if we can find maybe a... This is an, a huge pile of uh, destroyable clothing, by the way, so we can always think about using that at some point. Um, I don't know if we have any left, simply because everything that I was ever going to use has been taken from us <laughs> in a catastrophic, well, an almost completely catastrophic, but a very upsetting uh, uh, incident involving a scary baddie that we don't want to deal with, i.e. the brute has taken all of our lunch money and kicked sand in our faces. What was that noise? I didn't like that noise. Um, everything's still boarded up. I think there's a baddie right outside our window. I wonder if we can smell slash hear us. What's here? More stuff we can pick up. Uh, if we hear scary bumping noises, then we, we can uh, start being a little bit more panicky. No, these don't go here. These go here. Uh, although, mind you, so I've got this little table here. It's got strings and rags and stuff on it, but not 
Like, why has it got nails on it? Get off. That, this could be our sewing table. That's what I was thinking. But then I've gone and put nails on it. Uh, and the long strings can stay there. Okay. I don't like these noises. I'm scared. <laughs> what is that? The fox. The zombie is chasing a fox. Yes. <laughs> this game for being so... I want to say primitive, the graphics, can be quite, quite terrifying. Then again, I suppose we all know that um, anybody who's played the text adventure games of yesteryear would know quite well that uh, having just uh, text available to you, some, just the, the scary things that are happening to you, described to you, is sufficient to uh, really put the wind up somebody who is uh, not necessarily um, <laughs> got the, 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 the highest of... Oh, it's scary. Okay, I'm trying to be collo uh, colloquial. I'm trying to be trying to be uh, all wordy about it, but it, it's not how it works. Okay, it's, where did my? No, no, no. Go, go forwards. <laughs> Where's my boot gone? <laughs> I can't see my own boot, so it doesn't exist. Fair enough. So let's take a little bit of a drive. I can't turn the headlights on, so this is uh, um, just a minor issue. <laughs> for now, um, the reason we're going for a drive without headlights on Oh, I want to go this way Is I think it's a terrible idea, what do you think? Let's get out and see, because The reason I don't like this right now Is mostly that we can't see at all um, Which leads me to wonder with whether It's particularly dark right now I mean, I know it's particularly dark right now because it's nighttime, but there's no moon, which means we can't see very far. This is a bother. Now I don't know what to do with myself. <laughs> Feral hunter. Okay, fine. Let's uh, run away a whole bunch. And we'll just hit it until it dies. Do you know what? That, that could have been a lot worse. I'm going to smash it. I'm not going to try anything... Uh, smart. So the feral hunter there is uh, usually a f quite formidable opponent. You don't want to come a cropper of that anytime. I think we did okay there. Um, so it's occurred to me maybe we shouldn't go driving without headlights in the dark. Sometimes it's doable because sometimes you have uh, moonlight. Uh, sometimes it's daytime. But I, I don't know if we want to be doing that sort of thing. So what we should really be thinking of doing then is maybe doing some crafting. Uh, and I don't know how much of this to do on camera, to be honest, because it, it, uh, how much of it is interesting? You, I guess you're going to have to tell me. Quiet phone. Um, so I did notice, for example, if we have a look in our crafting menu, we should take up some clothes as well. We also need a, um, like a hat stand or something like that. We don't need to wear our big jacket. Where's our jacket? Army, my bits of balaclava. We don't need the balaclava. We don't need army winter jacket. Yeah, just drop it here. Uh, drop the balaclava. We can just put all this on when we stand on this tile or even near this tile. So it's not hugely important that we put it anywhere in particular. Uh, I'd like the <laughs> temperature to go down. This is why I'm taking these clothes off. Warmth. 25 of the boots. The helmet is really warm, actually. I don't want to take my boots off. All right, I'll take my boots off. But the thing is, it gets towards um, summer, as it gets through to spring and into summer, the, the, the outside temperature is going to get warmer, which means we're going to find a lot less frozen water, which is brilliant. But I am going to get warmer and warmer, but it means I have to take armor off in order to deal with it. And that's a problem. So I was looking before at uh, the idea of making a funnel. A makeshift funnel requires a gallon jug, Three plastic bottles, six small plastic bottles, or six aluminium foil, which I think we have some of that around here. So let's have a look. Um, all of this stuff I should probably move around, actually. Do you know what? Let's grab that. Grab this trolley here. Grab trolley. I'm not running, am I? No. I turn running off. Oops. Let's uh, put all this into... Go away. Here. And then... 
All this can come with me. I don't need this stuff. This can come with me as well. I shouldn't be here. Wood ash can stay wherever. Might as well bring it with me. Uh, obviously, you can put a pile of ash in a wire trolley. <laughs> what are you talking about? Why wouldn't you be able to? Um, and then we can drop all of that over here where we have other things of this nature. And these are things that we can use to craft stuff near the fire when we're not doing the cooking in the other fire. Although we might as well just do everything over here. I don't know. We'll decide. It's not in my nature to just put everything in the same place uh, and deal with it that way. I, I do kind of tend to prefer just putting things where I would normally put them. I don't know. If you were in a survival situation, would you just have a pile of everything? No, because as a human being, you would have difficulty finding stuff. But as a game player, you... Ooh, yes. We'll use the plastic bottles because I want to put it on the gallon jug. So uh, we'll just drop this thing here. So what we're going to do is... We're going to try and catch some rain. So we activate the funnel and place it here. Do we have the jug with us? No. And then we go and pick up the gallon jug, which is next to us. Oh, it's got water in it. That's fine. Uh, actually, no. We don't want to use that one just yet. Because it's got water in it. We, want to, we might as well cook the water first. Why don't we just cook the water first? Go and shut this door. Cook up all that water. Water. Batch that. Uh, put it into our thing. I drank the rest of all of my water. So now we needed to make more, so now we've got more. Uh, we'll pick up this gallon jug, which is now empty, wield it. And now if we drop it over here, then whenever it should so rain, whensoever it should rain, that will fill up slowly with water. Grand. So now we have a basically an infinite supply of water, provided it rains. And it hasn't been raining because it's getting into spring. So we may still have to go around uh, begging for water. Let's see what else we can craft though. If nothing else, what's a Nord? A nail sword or Nord for short? One two by sword and twelve nails. Is it just better? Bash, cut. Stop hitting the microphone. Everyone's getting cross with you. Okay, just chill. <laughs> uh, it's fine, don't worry. Let's have a look at this two by sword. Uh, what do you say? Bash twelve, cut one. So all it, it, we lose our two hit bonus, which is interesting. Because it's the same sword <laughs> with nails in it. Uh, it will do more damage. I mean, I'm not precious about it. So we have a tool with hammering of one or more. Interesting. Uh, wield the Nord, which didn't... Uh, we wanted a cup board, which we we're going to put things besides cup in. Uh, yes, we made a makeshift hammer, which is a hammering of one. We need a slightly more finesse when building a cupboard, unfortunately. So we're not going to be able to do that. The other thing we really, really need to do is go and get some food. We might have to wait until it's light. Although it's four o'clock in the morning, half past four in the morning. We spent two hours just waffling on doing stuff. So we could read for a while. That's an option. Oh, excuse me. Uh, a bit sniffly. No real reason to be sniffly. I got over my cold a while ago. Uh, we could make some of these arrows. Did we make a bow? Um, stand in sort of the, the everything area and then search this for bow. It's a glass bowl, but no bow. Maybe we can try making a bow. We can make a short bow. That's pretty good. Because the self bow is the sort of thing you start with. Um, the idea is that it's made for yourself. It says so down here. Where is it? A primitive bow fashioned from a single piece of wood made specifically for the person using it. Weak and wildly inaccurate. It doesn't work that well, unfortunately. So it sounds like it should be great because it's made for the person using it. But of course, it's also made by the person using it. And the person using it has no idea how to make a bow. This one, however, though not as powerful as the long bow, this bow is quicker and easier to draw. And it can be effectively used by those of average strength. Good for the small game or survivor on the go. So we could make... A short bow. We might as well try. Sure. A heavy stick. Ah, oh, we made one. Because our fabrication, that only required three fabrication. That's really good, actually. So we could also make some fire hardened arrows, right? Yes. Uh, stands a below average chance of remaining intact once fired. So you get. Um, 
you get better damage, I think. Wooden arrow, damage 10. Armor pierce, 3. Fire hardened wooden arrow, damage 4, armor pierce, 0. How is that hardened? <laughs> what is the point in that? Range 6, dispersion 190, versus range 7, dispersion less. So it's got less dispersion. The wooden arrow, basic wooden arrow, has metal, ar metal arrowhead. I see. Uh, heavy... I think the field point arrow... Let me, let me try and get this right. A simple arrow shaft with crude arrowhead. So this one's damage section on... Uh, it was a last ditch defense against zombies. So this one doesn't require any... Like, metal, right? You stick a bunch of... Uh, fletching to a piece of wood and make the piece of wood sharp uh, and you get so this makes 10 arrows out of one heavy stick bunch of duct tape etc um, but it's just a sharpened piece of wood also note written in the Fletcher's friend so that I, I moved my books to be slightly closer to the fire I'll show you the books are now in here this is a pile of books that I haven't read and this is a pile of books that I have read and can't learn from anymore so this is like a last ditch kindling pile but you know i'm loath to burn any uh, knowledge of the human race even if i am the last one remaining so i'm uh, we can't obviously make a crossbow bolt because we haven't got a crossbow nah <laughs> I was, oh hang on maybe we can make a crossbow we cannot make a crossbow go away um alas heavy wooden arrow damage 12 armor piss 5 Small dispersion, heavy wooden arrow with metal arrowhead and flexion. So this might be the sort of thing we want. Much heavier, does more damage and flies straight, resulting better accuracy over a longer range. Sounds like, so this is good. It does require steel. How is it better than this? Like, or how is it worse in terms of crafting? One heavy stick gives us ten. Two heavy sticks, gives, so it's, it takes twice as much material, but could be really good so what we should do is make some the cheapest one we can we can get 10 of the cheapest one we can to practice <laughs> like shooting bunnies basically and when we get good at making uh making our shot oh yes that's a good use of bones actually i think what's that for the end of it Ceramic shard. Yeah, I guess it's got a pointy end made of bones. And we will use not duct tape because that's sticky and good for you. Uh, yes, cardboard box. We have, great, we've, we've made a bow and arrow. Could, if we want to, now go and learn to shoot our, um, I believe that's archery is separate. Yes, so we've got a one in archery, which is not that great. <laughs> but it's okay. Okay, um, we, we will we'll deal with it. I'm going to drop the Nord there. I'm going to pick up. Is Archery for Kids got recipes but no... Yeah, bring your Archery skill to one. That must be what we read. It's been a while since I recorded, and I apologise for that, but it's um, it's not a full-time thing that I can do, so uh, I have to sort of pick and choose as to what I record when. Cataclysm is a little bit more of a difficult one to record just because I have to decide what to do. Day in, I have to remember what to do. It's a very uh, brain-involved process. So, um, I mean, you can tell because I've been chopping and changing what I'm going to do in this episode whilst recording it. <laughs> I was going to go for a drive and realised we didn't have any headlights uh, and it was a terrible idea. So, um, maybe we do something else. Uh, so, um, that, that's essentially the, <laughs> the long and the short of it is... Uh, I have to record something easy when I only have so much time or energy. We're managing to learn a bit about electronics. We got hungry and thirsty. It has become dark, but that's okay. Because we're inside. It was supposed to be dark. Wield the Nord. We'll wear all of these things. I think that's everything. Should be wearing. I am warm, but I'm going to go outside, so... Might not be warm for very long. I'm actually remaining warm, which is upsetting because I do want to keep all these clothings uh, worn. Spotted fat zombie. Mm. A couple of fat zombies in the um, in the park there, so I'm gonna just leg it. 
into my car. Because it's raining. Stop. Stop running. Close the door. Drive the car. Right, what have we got? Let's go backwards a little bit. We should have had something to eat, but it's okay. We're going to find something to eat. Uh, excuse me? That's a fat zombie. Let's just go around it. We don't have to interact with anything that we don't really want to interact with. Unless it's directly in front of us and uh, we're going to die. <laughs> it, you know, unless it's a brute, basically. So, going to be super careful. Uh, let's do this, actually. That's a good idea. So then we can have a proper look. Don't forget, on the map, it's going to tell you about things. Hazmat zombie, zombie soldier. That doesn't seem very good. I don't like the idea of that. Hasn't seen us, but it is in the direction I was hoping to go in. There's the horde. So I'm thinking maybe we just go straight north. Well, not straight north. We'll drive into this, but you get the idea. The coffee shop. Maybe we just have a look in the coffee shop and see if there's anything of value in there for us. We've been in this place yet. We haven't. Zoom in again. That's probably seen us, yeah. But it's only a dog, and we have so far beaten a um, feral hunter just in the dark at random. So I think we're okay to beat the basicest of enemies. It's the um, it's brutes and stuff that we really want to be worried about. We have been here, but we didn't go in there. So, just stop. <laughs> Let's have a look at what happened here. Swing wildly and miss. What's the point of fighting? Well, uh, I understand, actually, to be fair. Uh, can we eat anything? Let's have a bit of water. We're very demoralized. Um, let's have a look. Why? Is it because we're wet? Yes. I honestly thought that our, um, our balaclava and winter pants and helmet and winter jacket might have had something to stop us. <laughs> it has a hood. It has a hood. Activate. Why can't I wear the hood? If it has a hood, I shouldn't be soaking wet, right? It's a hooded jacket. You keep your head warm if your head is unencumbered. So we should take off... I don't know. <laughs> I don't care anymore. Stop trying to make me. I'm gonna have a quick search around here. There's a towel. This hoopy fruit now knows where his towel is. Uh, Except he doesn't, because he can't tell what he's doing. This is inventory, this is all. There we go. That's what we want to do. That's it. There's a towel in this entire place. There's plenty of um, good source of, of lots of... Uh, what's this? Shower. It's a good source of uh, the electronics, because we realised that if you take these things apart, you can get a decent amount of electronics. But we're not interested in electronics, and this place doesn't even have a till system so what are you even doing you know what let's not drive this car yet turn the engine on let's go up here let's run away from the rain because we're english we get in here have you seen us no spotted house yeah i just turned safe mode on and i knew that there was a thing there you don't have to tell me let's eat tea leaves. No. We will take tea leaves because that seems very acceptable to me. I don't need glass shards I think. Let's open this so it's not in our way in future. Um, tea leaves is good because we can make tea. <laughs> Obviously. I didn't bring my flipping crowbar, did I? No. Rotten BLTs and a paper wrapper. See, things are starting to rot. That's the trouble sugar wrapper so the more food we find that's gone off we're gonna have to very very soon start uh, making uh, the the food that we want not not finding it which is a problem <laughs> the big problem the huge horde of baddies just to the how you how are you still hungry and still sad look how much you enjoyed those pretzels you loser uh, yeah, there's a lot of zombies on that side of us, so I'm going to make the executive decision to leg it right now. Continue to run, please. Back into the car. And... Oh, big noise. Don't like it. Drive. Uh, 
Yeah, get out of there. And hopefully we will... Like, where is the... Where was the brute? It was on the next street over, but it's not impossible to... What's the dispensary? It's not impossible to think that maybe it's uh, nearby still. Is that the bike that we drove? Did we ride that bike there? I think we might have. Is that my bike? I don't know if that bike works, so it possibly isn't. What is this? It is a gun store. That's very well guarded, so I don't think we're going to be able to get in there. To our right, a furniture store. Not what we need right now. Look, just put the handbrake on uh, 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 and, and deal with this fat zombie. We can deal with the fat zombie, no worries. Pretty sure. I mean, it's demoralizing being out in the rain, but we'll deal. We're supposed to be a, an army recruit, you know. We're a military recruit. Doesn't say which military. Presumably that's the uh, jarheads. So we should be able to just run around and tank stuff without worrying too much about... Oops, I pressed the wrong button. About how difficult it is to uh, beat up a fat zombie. And, and yet we're having trouble and we're complaining about the rain. So we might as well get in out of the rain. Have a little look around here. You never know what you might find. Steel chain. That could actually come in useful. Also. <laughs> we we don't have very much in the way of inventory space right now. Go away. Inventory space right now. So we should definitely remember to drop off all our stuff. Um, as soon as we find it, really. I'm going to not take my towel with me. And I know how this could end up being a big deal. Massive problem. Okay, I've read the books. Don't bring your towel. You know, you're in for a world of hurt, but... Oh, hello. Oh, it's just outside this. Um, I, I will live with it. I will suffer the consequences. I will take that risk. There is a brick here. I do not want a brick. Denated alcohol could be useful. A hacksaw is going to be useful. Because a hacksaw is going to be required for some mechanical work. Which we're probably going to want to do too. At some point. So let's all get that in there. Keep going for a drive until we can find somewhere where we can get some food or something else. We just really need some advantage in this uh, episode to make it worth doing it in the first place. I see a gas station. We don't need any gas, which we call petrol in civilized society. <laughs> There's a lot of zombies considering it doesn't say that the horde is that way. I'm also going to zoom out a little bit. I'm terrified if we keep going this way we will encounter the the very brute that got us into the pickle in the first place also very typical that there's a gas station opposite a gas station <laughs> it says that we've explored this bank did you know that were you there i didn't i don't remember that it's, it seems like one of those last chance gas stations where you don't get any actual shop what do you think what are these signs this is probably the, the gas bottle storage sign, right? Tank with gasoline. Danger, do not smoke, risk of explorer. Yes, that seems likely. Ga automated gas console and some yeah, broken vending machines. So, hmm. Not the, not the best thing. Clothing store. That could be good in future, but I don't think we need it right now. Um, I'm going to just drive through this bit really quickly. <laughs> That, uh, I think that is a manhole cover. Yes. I also don't want to mess with that. Let's not go in the sewers. That's a terrible idea. Yes, <laughs> save the game just before I tackle with the brute that caused me the worst grief in the world that I've ever felt. Ever. This is where my trolley is. Is that it there? Yes. There's no one around. So, um, stop quickly, pull the handbrake, wait a little bit, stop driving, get out of the car, and be very, very prepared to leg it really, really quickly. The shopping cart is on its side now, that's how wrecked, wrecked and bad it is. Right, <laughs> we've got our shopping cart. Why is there nothing in it? Is it so bad that I can't actually... Yeah, there's all my stuff, right. We're going to do this. Oh, it did make a short bow. Uh, yes, stop. It's just a zombie. Don't worry. 
Are we running? No. Let's start running. I don't mind. Stop hurting me. I'm too demoralized to fight properly. Alright, cool. Uh, smash. I don't want you to smash that. <laughs> That's okay. In fact, this is so wrecked that it doesn't think it's a shopping cart anymore. It's just uh, telling me that... Oh, it's taken forever. But look at what we got back. It's telling me that it's just a, a, a thingy that can be dragged around. I am very much looking forward to getting all my stuff back. Especially my, uh, my knife, which I know I dropped somewhere else. So we really want to make sure that we've got uh, that. So we want this one and this one. Just move as much as you can. Uh, and please tell me if something shows up. I'd be very upset if, as a oh French made outfit, I'd be very upset if, as a result of doing all this, I uh, took damage because I wasn't paying enough attention. Everything is fitting in here. Wow, we okay, very good, very very good. I appreciate that. A chunk of steel, scrap metal, lump of steel. What is this? Just um, nothing really. There's my combat knife. Bring that back. No. Yes. Uh, run away. <laughs> That's what I recommend right now. Run away and never come back. Oh, I am running actually. It's, uh, oops, I don't have anything to read. This was successful. I didn't expect that to work. Um, and I'm going to drive really fast now, which is probably a bad idea. But I want to be not here, just in case that brute is still nearby. But here. Copper wire. That's okay. I don't need that. Just in case that brute is nearby, I want to bail, pretend I wasn't here, and just leave with my stuff. Now that I have it back, whew, we're driving at 70 kilometers an hour. We can, we can slow down now. Don't, don't kill yourself in a blind panic because you've managed to do something you thought you'd never be able to do. Why is there a piece of copper wire on the ground outside my house? Slow down a little bit. We don't need to go this far. Oh, crap. Oh, no. What? What happened? I just drove into my own window and now the car's broken. It's not completely broken, luckily. But at the same time... What? Oh man, I'm so cross with myself. I was just trying to move a little tile further forward, but I was moving so fast that I didn't realise that I was going to go that many tiles. Basically, I didn't slow down in time. Couldn't, uh... Couldn't, uh... Couldn't stop. <laughs> I've broken the car. All right, let's see how well this car's doing. Let's examine this vehicle. Let's have a look. We broke... Actually, the quarter panel that we just drove into the window doesn't hurt at all. So that's fine. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is try and repair this. Uh, can we build anything here? No. Is it because there's no window? Or is it because... It's just dirt. So we need to build a wall now. Wall. Excuse me? <laughs> Wall. Build. Oh, heck. Well, if I had a hammer, which I do, um, I'm sure I had hammers. I still only got this stone hammer through all of this? Or do I have a toolbox? Tool. No. Tools. I thought I had a really good hammer. Or at least a passable hammer. Because I was making furniture, was I not? Did I miss it back up there? This is a problem. <laughs> this is pretty much a bad thing right now. Because the this requires... Can't, I'm not in a vehicle. Shush. This requires... I do have a tool of hammering two or more. Where are you hammering tool of two or more? Can I search for uh, quality hammer? Is this stone hammer two or more? What do I actually have? What's going on here? Anyway, whatever. Uh, give me this. I didn't mean to put it where I did. Drop it here. And then go and get some two by fours. Uh, put these two by fours. Stop saving while I'm moving. 
Uh, we'll just do this for now. Just get these over here. And then we can build that wall. Build wood wall. Yes. Thank you. There. Excuse me. Cannot build there. Is there something here that I don't know about? Reset this filter. Go away. Why won't you reset the filter? Oh, you will. Fine. Uh, directly below me and to the east and then move all that and then... Why can't I build here? Build wood wall here. Because there was stuff in the way. Build wood wall. I need more 2 befores. Let's, uh, let's fill up this... Excuse me, trolley here with these 2 by 4s here. Just move them all? Yes. Now I've got a trolley full of two by fours, obviously, wouldn't you? Uh, and then we can do more nails. Okay. No more nails? What? Nine nails? What? Might have to go and get more nails. Well, we have a little bit of a task ahead of us. So in the next episode, I think we're going to be. Oh, scared me. I forgot about that. Uh, oh, there's a lot of rags down here as well. Um, we're going to be quite happily. Well, I'll probably off camera, to be honest, uh, finish this particular construction because it's quite important uh, that we have an opaque whew, wood wall here. And I think we can do. So what we've done now is we've got that is a wooden wall. It doesn't say what um, we've done this twice. So first we made a half built wall. Correct. Then we made a half built wall better. An incomplete wall of refined wood dotted with carefully placed nails to provide proper support. Requires some more 2 by 5 nails with a suitable wall. So with another 20 nails, we can uh, have, I think, a completely built wall. So off camera, I'm going to have a look at that, see if that's indeed correct, and try and repair the mistake that I made by driving too fast at my car. Then we can go looking around because I believe, let's just double check whilst we're here. Um, also, it's raining, so this should have a lot of water in it, which is great. Um, this should have uh, pliers and stuff. We've got a hacksaw, which is what we need usually to get things out of cars, to, to cut away metal things. We've got uh, pliers. We do probably going to need those. I really want a wrench and things like that. Ideally, just give me a toolbox. <laughs> That'll be fine. Give me all the things I need at once, but uh, maybe a little bit too much to ask. This time around, we've got screwdrivers and all that sort of thing. Maybe we can take out of someone else's vehicle new headlights and install them and then we go driving around at night, which is going to be a lot better for us. We haven't got any uh, food, but we can at least drink. Uh, so that's also going to be on a list of things to do is to figure out how to get some food. Might have to think about that off camera because the only thing I can think of right now is to just continue to scavenge and hope for the best. We can obviously cook things, so if we can find dry ingredients that don't go off, we can make things. That's no problem. The, the problem is that we can't uh, we can't find we can't rely on continuing to find flour and stuff uh, and bird eggs. In oh, well, I guess we could keep looking in the bushes with bird eggs. But we have to go drive into the forest. We end up in a sort of a, a cross between a survival and a. a, a fabrication sort of build so we want to basically want to farm <laughs> we want to be able to grow all our own stuff and to have it last um throughout the winter so we're going to have to build some way of preserving these things as well so until the next time thank you for watching i apologize for the big gaps and irregularity of this series and indeed every series but yeah, it's a video a day most days anyway thank you for watching and i'll see you